Welcome to the Quill app. As you can see, your facility has been added to your dashboard. Hop into your facility risk map by clicking on your facility card here. Your facility risk map looks lifeless without assets, so let's head there first. You can add assets directly from your asset menu. Here, you can name your asset and set the operational, symbolic, and monetary criticality of the asset to your overall facility. Each value helps to contextualize the cost of an asset being stolen, destroyed, or tampered with. Operational value measures how difficult it is to continue operations without the asset. Symbolic value measures how big the reputational or morale impact would be. And monetary value gives us a sense of the organizational resources that would need to be mobilized to make up for the compromised asset. You can add your asset to any locations you added when creating your facility. The quantity present is the amount you're adding to each location listed below. Before you click Add, make sure to hop into your asset's targeting likelihood. This is the threat landscape for the asset. Zero is impossible, one unlikely, two possible, and three probable. If you'd like to learn more about these threats, please hover over the left side of the app to check out our content wiki page in the menu. Now that you're all set, put the asset in your facility by clicking Add. Congratulations, you've made your facility worth protecting. Because you have assets in your facility, your facility now has a Quill score. Quill scores communicate overall facility risk and can be used to compare facilities of different sizes with different assets. We'll revisit Quill scores as you add more facilities over time. Your facility security maturity represents the ratio of how much you could do to protect your assets versus how much work your current security program is doing. Your security maturity will remain at 100% residual risk until you add security measures. But before we do that together, let's review the asset you just added. To review and edit assets by location, navigate to your asset menu and hop into your asset tab. Here, you can change asset assumptions for each location within your facility. Click the action pencil and update whatever you want. Quill is a dynamic risk model, so when you change any underlying assumptions for your asset, your risk map will update automatically. You can verify this by navigating back to your risk map overview tab and checking out the change to your Quill score. Security measures fall under two umbrellas within the Quill app. One, policies, and two, location-specific measures. Add either and your security maturity will change because action has been taken to protect your facility assets. To update your risk map for current security policies, navigate to your measure menu and hop in the measure tab for your facility. Policies are security measures that aren't specific to location. Here, you can input what is true for the facility overall. When you click specific properties, contradictory options will fall away. If you'd like to explore these policies in depth, click the question icon near the policy of interest. The Quill Content Wiki page will open in a new tab. But make sure to update your risk map by scrolling back to the top and saving your changes. You can hop back into your facility risk map overview to see the change in your Quill score and security maturity. At Quill, we highly recommend that you add your assets, review your assets, and add your facility policy measures before adding any location-specific measures. Your facility risk map will begin to come alive with top assets at risk, top threats to assets, and top locations at risk as well. Now that you're ready to add location-specific measures, hop in a location of your choosing, navigate to measures at this location, and add all existing measures here. Similar to our threats and policy measures, all location-specific measures are explained in detail on the Quill Content Wiki site. To get to the Content Wiki, you can hover over the left side of the app to reveal your Quill menu or click one of the question icons found next to each measure title. After you've added your measures, make sure to save your changes. As always, you can head back into your facility risk map overview to see the change in your Quill score and your security maturity. And you're off! Have fun exploring the app. 
We want you to enjoy your experience and find it useful, so please reach out with any feedback or questions.